Apparently some clips have come out, we need to talk about it, and what Dispatch has posted. We also have a clip from the reality show Are You Sure? People saying that there might be a kissing scene in a hammock somewhere. And then we have JK coming out to talk about the truth about something he released. So I don't think it's safe to say, let's get into it. So I found out that JK was doing something because Billboard actually tweeted out his documentary. And this is really special because he is going to be airing this documentary in theaters and we will all get a chance to see it. The documentary is called I Am Still and the documentary will be about his journey from when he released his song Seven to when the album came out and his whole journey with that. This is definitely very exciting because he not only hit a lot of number ones for himself, but a lot of records for K-pop and solo artists in general. So it would be very interesting to see his reaction to some of of those moments alongside how those things even came about. I hope it goes behind the scenes to talk about the recording process and also how he felt about each song. People were very excited to say that JK has come back from the military, figuratively of course, and he was coming out to release something that was very exciting. JK even talks about how this was very exciting for him and that he felt like this was very exciting news. Now we knew that this was coming out and that this documentary was going to happen. But we definitely didn't know when it would come out and we didn't know what it was fully going to be. Obviously now we know what it's about. I think a lot of people are very excited, obviously, because we get to see the new content of the boys. But I imagine that none of this is ever good enough. I remember seeing someone talk about how it doesn't matter that JK and Jimin have this reality show right now. They want the two back from the military. I think even just the idea that they are in the military and they're not making content in real time is what's really tripping people up. In reality, if they did decide to just record a bunch of content before they decide to go on vacation for two years, I'm sure people wouldn't even know or wouldn't have any idea that they were gone. Right now, there's so much content going out that it doesn't really even feel like they're on a break or that they're in the military. We're honestly getting the same amount of content, if not maybe slightly more than if they were to be currently active. And that's very exciting to hear. Of course, as a fan, and this is amazing. This is also something that will just be of him. It is a document of just him, not with the other BTS boys. And then we also will see it in theaters. So if we all go and watch him, whatever, and it breaks records, this is a whole new record for a K-pop star and also for Koreans being in theaters and in movies. I don't think Asians have too much more to prove in the industry and hopefully they won't have to as a lot of Asian films end up grossing really high. So I think Hollywood gets the point at this point. But I think this will just add to the flame a little bit more and people will really say, hey look, Asians can actually sell, specifically Asian men. There's a lot of craziness that goes on. I mean, just the sheer amount of scandals and things that have come out should already let the American media companies know that this culture and this type of content is something that is very relevant. And people care about one of the things that I'm talking about today, which is none other than Dispatch apparently confirming a rumor that had existed. Now, if you're not aware, Sugar recently had a DUI incident and it resulted in a lot of speculation and rumors based on what actually happened. So a lot of people were saying that he had crashed into someone or a lot of people were saying that he was on the road and then even some people were then saying that he got up his scooter and fell. Now Shuka has never confirmed or denied any of these things. However, a lot of people from the beginning, including myself, felt like it was kind of weird. Also, it was weird where this footage was being taken from. So apparently Dispatch ended up putting out a clip saying that this was the official CCTV footage of the actual event. Now how they recovered this, I don't know, maybe they pulled some connections or whatever it was. This CCTV footage actually makes a lot more sense. So the original was like a blurry image of some person on a scooter rushing, zooming by, and then the second one was someone getting off a scooter and then falling. When all this came out, it made people think that Sugar was lying in his apology because he never mentioned any of those things and what he said didn't match up with this alleged CCTV footage. Now when this clip came out, it actually matched very perfectly with what his statement was. So now it actually feels more real. So a lot of people were upset over that first footage, which is not released by Dispatch. It was released by another news company. And a lot of people are now questioning where they got that footage. Also, were they attempt what were they attempting to do by releasing a footage like that? Like that made no sense because they definitely should have been aware that the footage didn't make sense because they were releasing two different videos with two different stories. So which one is Suga? He cannot be both. 
So the actual footage shows someone driving with an electric scooter on the sidewalk. It's not like a motorcycle looking scooter. It literally is just a regular scooter that is L-shaped, maybe one with a seat, and it was very slowly zooming by. It was going fairly slow to the point where people who were walking by seemed comparable in terms of speed. And then a part of his statement, he said that he got to the gate or was near his house. He made a turn and flipped over and fell. From the initial first video, it was not clear how he would have fallen, it's not clear where his house was. So it seemed like he lied in his statement. However, what we're seeing here now seems to fit exactly with what his statement was. He did fall over at the end, but it looked like he fell over because it was such a sharp turn and he likely would have been wobbly or fallen over even if he hadn't had a drink. So as per usual, and I say this a lot, don't make assumptions before the official news comes out. Also try to believe what people say first because whatever damage he has received now from either news sites or from people talking about him, that will follow him either even though it's not true. There's also been some teasers that have come out that have gotten people very excited as V, JK, and Jimin were seen lying on what appears to be a hammock and they were just kind of enjoying their time there. This was such a cute photo and people thought it was so amazing to see all of them there because this episode had all three of them together. Now, there were people who were making some jokes, and one of those jokes was that V is third wheeling, and I found this to be very annoying, because even if you are implying that he is third wheeling in a friendship, like, like JK and Jimmy are the most close to each other, and then V is just third wheeling in that friendship, that is still very annoying to me. Although that's usually not what they're implying, they're implying more romantic thing. But to say that V is not close to either of them or not as close, I just don't believe that to be true. Because one thing that people have to constantly remember is that the point of this reality show wasn't just for them to hang out. It was a reality show. The point of them making it is to make money and is to create something and to put it out. So at the end of the day, above friendship, it's the creation and V jumping into it means that it would have been a good thing for him to jump into it. The producers approved it, people wanted him to be a part of it. Now there was a comment that was specifically saying that both JK and Jimin were indirectly kissing, and I think this just kind of shows the level of potential delusion within some people in the community. I don't know if this was a joke or not, but a lot of people have had a similar sentiment and have said similar things. People often like to say, oh, they are indirectly doing this, or they're, indir they're indirectly having a romantic relationship because of X, Y, and Z. And I don't think that they are saying this from a place of facts. I think it's coming from a place of imagination and then thinking about it in their dreams. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I think that that's just the reality of what it is. And some people in the community just think like that. Now, if you're using this picture to say that V is third wheeling, that the two members, JK and Jimin, are romantically involved, then I would say that you are unfortunately very wrong as there's nothing romantic about this picture. If you show this picture to anyone, they would probably just tell you that it's three people just hanging out. And it probably looks like three people who are close to each other. I hate when I see a lot of people using the show as a reason to justify their fantasy or their ship. And I've said this before, it's fun to have a ship. It's fun to think about these scenarios and make up these stories. But understand that that's essentially what you're doing. It's not proven, it's not fact, it's just a fun little fantasy that you've made up in your head that you can share with other people within the community who also share that fantasy. Because as I mentioned earlier, something that people never take into consideration is that what we're watching is entertainment. This is the whole goal. If the boys were actually going to go on vacation and have a vacation together, then there would be no cameras, and that's probably going to be the most relaxing because they're always around cameras. So when I see something on camera and when I see something being picked up by Disney+, Plus, Netflix, in movie theaters, you have to understand that there is a factor of staging it because it is entertainment. There's so many reasons for some for why something happens. Most of the time when things are happening and emotions are shown on a reality show or a TV show, it's not 100% real. If it was real in the moment, it probably would then be edited to not appear real. And there probably is some of that going on with their type of reality show too. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Let me just leave a comment right here. Love you, bye.